Hello, my name is Pamela Aobo Enyono, a visual artist from Uganda. During the lost and found residency, I became intrigued with the idea of eternal life and what practices humans have used over time to cope with loss, especially the loss of loved ones. I explored the ways we remember them, and one of those ways is the passing down of names. I have seen incidences where a child is addressed as an elder. Here we say Musei, and this is not done as a joke, but because the child carries the name of a grand person. These images are my interpretation of what we pass on with our names. The good, the bad, it's all a granary of experiences for the next name bearer to add on to. In the narrative, I represent myself. My ancestors are those who have carried the name Awoho. I was named after my grand aunt, and by sharing this name, I feel like I carry her stories and I add to the collective experiences of being Awoho, a bond that cuts across time and space. It does not matter where you are in the world, past or future, as long as you're called Awobo, we are somewhat connected. To me, being named after someone, especially someone who has passed on, is to be invited to occupy a seat that the name holds. Our name holds spaces for us, our stories and our cultures, even when we are long gone. It makes you really think about what is in a name. You will see more of my portraits in the next piece called The Second Coming, where I collaborated with storyteller Maimona Jallo and dancer Lilian Navagala Maximilian. Here again, we explore how we use memory and, the, and rituals to keep loved ones alive. The story itself is a nod to traditional African storytelling, in which a common feature is the human-like qualities of nature around us. It also represents ways of speaking of death and loss to young children. Lillian's dancing provides beautiful personification of the rainbow who loses and finds the colors again. It's all set to a piano piece by Gigi. I hope you enjoy it.